What is up everybody? It is the HHN Dog here, the leader of the pack, and I am back with another Halloween Horror Nights video. Now, it has been uh, several days since I did my last Halloween Horror Nights video, which my last Halloween Horror Nights video I did a HHN tag video. <coughs> Excuse me. So, in case you did not see that, in case you did not watch that video yet, I will put the link to the HHN tag video in the description bar down below. So, so for this video, it's a very special video. Now, earlier today, it was officially and finally announced that Stanley Kubrick's classic horror film, The Shining, will be coming to Halloween Horror Nights Orlando and Universal Studios Hollywood Halloween Horror Nights 27 and 2017. So I am really excited. So just as usual, I'm going to read the blog and then I'm going to give my thoughts on this amazing announcement. Here we go. When bringing iconic horror films to life at Universal Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights, a common question we find ourselves asking is, how the heck are we going to turn this movie into a haunted house? But hey, we're always up for a challenge. This year is no different. We're bringing you The Shining. There are so many intense and creepy moments packed into the whole film, so we held hands, took a deep breath, and entered the Overlook Hotel. I just finished looking at some of the house de designs, and, and I am thrilled by the story we're telling. It will be the warped psychological thriller you know and love with our own Halloween Horror Nights twist. We cast the Overlook Hotel as the aggressor and view it as if you're having, as if you have the sh shining. Our goal is to have you constantly doing a double take and give, give you that. Did I just see that feeling? After watching this movie for the first time, I remember saying, I would never go into room 237. So of course, that's where we're gonna, going to take you. All the places you shouldn't go. You'll come face to face with the murderous ghostly entities around every corner. And of course, the best part will be trying to escape the sharpened edge of an axe. I can't wait for you all to see what's in store for you with The Shining in this year's event. You won't want to miss it, so make sure to grab your tickets now. And that blog was written by Charles Gray. So, this has been a must-want property at Halloween Horror Nights for a long time. And they finally got it. Of course, it... It goes along with The Exorcist because The Exorcist was the second announcement. So, what better way to go along with that than The Shining? I figure I, I would have thought they would have saved The Shining for last because, just like American Horror Story, that was a must want property. And they announced American Horror Story last. So I figured they would announce The Shining last, but uh, hey, that's okay. Uh, when it was for when I saw it uh, going through Twitter, and when I saw the words "house reveal," I went, I went into full-on fan mode because <clears throat> The Shining is one of my all-time favorites. And it will always be a classic. So to to finally have The Shining come to Halloween Horror Nights is truly awesome. I cannot wait to see the Overlook Hotel facade in the soundstage. Which it doesn't tell you what soundstage it'll be in. But I cannot wait to see the facade of the Overlook Hotel. I cannot wait to see the decomposing woman in room 237 I cannot wait to see the blood elevator I cannot wait to see the the twins in the hallway which I have a feeling that will be a double scare I have a feeling that you'll be walking through the hallway and the twins will come at you from 
each side from left and right. So I have a, fe I have a feeling that'll be awesome. That'll be a great scare to have. Yeah, uh, it's going to be awesome. And hey, I can't wait to see the hedge maze. The hedge maze will be awesome. <clears throat> no doubt. With it uh, snowing and really cold, I would ima I would imagine them pumping the AC during that part of the house, which I cannot wait to see the hedge maze with all the snow on the ground. It's just, it's just gonna be awesome. And uh, my question is, I have a feeling it'll be screens. I have a feeling they'll use a screen for this part of the house, but I, I. I can't wait to see how they pull off the blood elevator, which I do have a feeling that it'll be a, it'll be a screen. But I mean, if it is, that's fine as long as you know it is authentic as possible and has the uh, blood elevator scene. And I, it's just gonna be awesome, and it's just gonna be fantastic. I can't wait to walk through the house and hear, here's Johnny. I can't wait to hear that. I can't wait to hear Red Rom, Red Rom. I can't wait to see all of that. I cannot wait to walk through the house. And I have a feeling that we uh, will get a scare by now I did talk with some people that I know I did talk to some friends and <clears throat> for the decomposing woman scene we may either get a static figure or we may actually get a live scare actor we don't know we we you we I have a feeling we may get a live actor scare of the decomposing woman I have a I, there's a lot of possibilities, but the only way we can find out is by going through the house at Halloween Horror Nights 27, both in Orlando and in Hollywood. And so far, there's two shares. Uh, well, technically two shares because American Horror Story, yes, is coming back to Orlando and it's going, it's coming back to Hollywood and The Shining is, is a share. I, in this year, will be no different because in the past we've shared a lot. With Hollywood like from 24 we shared a majority of the properties uh, 25 uh, we didn't share any uh, I, don't, I don't think yeah we shared Walking Dead yeah we shared Walking Dead so uh, 26 we shared some we shared some properties and this year will probably probably be probably be no different it'll be no different by sharing so American Horror Story extra or the shining um, what's next what's the next announcement that is the question now everybody's literally asking I was uh, checking through Twitter and uh, people were like oh oh okay we finally got the shining what's the next announcement take like, really take time to embrace this announcement because I mean, this was came out of nowhere. I figured uh, my thing was The Shining came out um, May something, May 28th, I believe. May 28th or uh, something like that. I figured they would have made us wait until that day and then we got our announcement. But hey, today, what a way to close out the week. Or what a way, yeah, what a way to close out the week to get The Shining's official announcement. It's going to be great. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I apologize if it's a short video, which I have a feeling it's not. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at HHNDog, D-A-W-G, at Twitter, HHNDog. Like, comment, and subscribe to, the YouTube, to my YouTube channel. For more videos like this on Halloween Horror Nights uh, announcement videos, and I might do, and I'm probably going to do Scare Zone videos when I get down there, so you will see Scare Zone videos from each Scare Zone. 
like I did last year because I took video of four of the five scare zones. I couldn't do the video and, ban and layer the banshees because it was too dark in that scare zone. But anyway, you will probably get scare zone videos this year. Alright guys, thank you guys so much. And until the next Halloween Horror Nights video, boys and girls, I will see you in the doghouse.